the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, guys, I'm gonna finish what I started the Light Fruit Blocks Fruits video. We've reached level 700. Now we're gonna reach max level. So to start, before we go to the second C, we need to unlock something. The Observation Aki. So first locate these squares, green squares. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. We have five, three in this island. Again, the jungle island. And two on the uh, connecting island. There you go. Two more. Here you go. Here are all the locations. Okay. So after finding all the locations, again, this is just to help us level up faster in the second C. In the quest giver, you can locate this. You will get the torch and go to the desert island. Guys, this will be fast, okay? There you go. Locate the door. There you go. The red door. Use your torch to burn its door. And then you will get the cap. And then go to the frozen village. Put some water in it. Okay. Go up. Talk to the sick man. There you go. He will thank you and ask you to go to his son in the pirate village. Talk to the rich man and he will ask you to defeat a mob leader. It is located near the marine ford. There you go. This is a small island here. Defeat him and you will get money and the rich man will give you this. Now go back to the jungle island. Use your reward to open the door. Defeat the saber expert and go to the uh, sky island. Talk to Yusuf and he will give you the observation hockey. This will really help you evade bullies in second C. Okay? So are we going to second C? Not yet guys. We need to reach level 716. So go to Fountain City. There you go. Defeat the galley pirates. Why? Because, you know, even with observation hockey, the captains will still defeat you. So level up here. Yeah, you can defeat Cyborg, Galley Pirates until you reach level 716. And now you can go to second C. Okay? Okay, so let's start grinding here. So first off, we are gonna defeat the raiders. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to lure them. Guys, by starting here, 716, your Logia uh, fruit will activate. So they cannot hit you. Okay, the problem is they're just far apart, but it's fine. We have light fruit, we can travel very, very fast. There you go, that's how you lure four. And after that, there are two sets here. Go to the other side, four more. You need to defeat eight, finish the quest. There you go. So you're gonna do this until you reach. Oops. Ah. Oh. <laughs> guys, we can't evade those bullies, but we need to be patient, guys. Okay? Okay, so just keep leveling up with the raider until you reach level 741. And after this, we are going to defeat the mercenaries. Again, 741 Why Gamer No. We can defeat it at 725, guys. Logi activated. Very easy. There you go. No more dodging, etc. Go. You need to defeat 3. After that, go to the other side, defeat 3, and defeat 2 or 3 for extra XP. There you go. Easy. Easy to be honest, but it really needs time, guys. It really needs time. There are some bullies. We're not using game passes or boosts. In short, this will really test your patience. Okay? So at 750, we can now defeat Diamond. But guys, again, in public server, it's very hard to time them. Because there are so many players here, like for example this one. This is the area where he is located. There you go. And he is not here. So I assume he is dead. So we died recently. So go back to the mercenaries. Keep defeating them. And maybe there you go. You will have a chance to defeat a diamond. There you go. Okay, so when you reach level 793, you can move on to your next quest guys we will be staying here again for a very long time we will be dodging other quests because those quests are really hard and not efficient so here goes spawn parrots so it's very easy guys easy to kill and they are not so far apart one two three okay after defeating them or maybe you can lure five defeat five defeat the other one so that uh, it will cool down or they will respawn go this is the sixth one and let's go back to the starting point let's wait for them there you go six on pirates one quest one level up but as the level up goes as the leveling goes higher it will be harder okay so again just a reminder be patient so gamer num you're saying we're not gonna do the factory stuff quest yes check this out guys i'm defeating one right the next one is so far apart there you go guys see that 
who wants to uh, like grind fast and defeat mobs that are so far apart and the third one there you go it's so far guys so this is a no-no okay so go back to swan pirate and by the way guys when you reach 850 you can defeat the other boss now jeremy this is my favorite boss <laughs> because of the name <laughs> should have been bellamy right but jeremy so cool there you go you just need to defeat, defeat him how do you defeat him just dodge to the side like other bosses and be patient use your skills cycle it properly and there you go you can defeat him easily there you go again swan pirates jeremy and you can defeat diamond cool guys we got the black spiky coat i think we're gonna use this there you go <laughs> we also have the long sword from diamond okay guys at level 897 we can go to the green zone yeah that's the next island there are quests there that are within our level but guys let's avoid those quests the marine marine lieutenant guys they're far apart marine captain they have haki i think we can go here at 925 and defeat fajita let's focus on uh, swan pirates okay here you go 925 fajita but again we're in the public server i think they're all see that there's already someone attacking it just by chance if you have a private server then it's better guys okay okay here we go let's defeat fajita there you go after this just go back to the swan fights but guys if you feel you're strong enough defeat the marine captains it's kind of hard because again they have haki so they can really attack you even if you're a logia type user but if you really like challenge then go for it and when you reach 976 you can now go at hot and cold that's late for later zombie island guys zombie island guys this area very fast you can level up here very fast you need to defeat like eight zombies guys we're not gonna defeat the vampires game on why it will give you more xp etc but again guys i'm gonna show it to you the vampires are so far apart and again we need to be efficient think of this you can finish two quests of zombies if you do it fast comparing it to a vampire quest which will take you really long even though they're easy to defeat they're so far apart okay okay so let's focus on the zombies and as a proof i'm gonna show you the vampires here check that out guys that's the first vampire attack and we need to like do this okay that's so far see that guys that's so far okay and you need to defeat eight okay so again this is a big no-no so go back to zombies until you reach level 1028 now head to snow mountain and defeat the snow troopers guys i'm gonna show you how to defeat it okay lure one right okay two three and four okay that's the first set you need to defeat eight and defeat it and do it again <laughs> okay is that clear yes it's very clear but if you're in a rush you can defeat the other three okay and then don't forget the bosses again this is jeremy this is diamond and fajita you can go around and try defeating them for faster xp or experience okay so again go back to snow troopers there you go just level up here until you reach 1080 and now you can defeat the winter warriors here guys they can remove your hockey okay with their skill but there's a logia effect too okay just by their skill so it depends to you if you want to stay with snow troopers or fight the winter warriors if you're gonna ask me i'll go for this winter warriors okay so keep on leveling up there you go lure 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 they're kind of near so it's a good thing for me okay so do this until you reach level 1132 and now you can start your quests in the hot and cold island straight to the point we're gonna do the lab subordinate we're gonna skip the horned warrior quest okay so how do you lure this guys in, there are five uh lab subordinates here lure three guys don't do this don't lure five at once it will be very hard for you because they will keep on respawning on their starting point again how do you defeat this defeat three defeat two defeat three to finish the quest fast okay again lab subordinate 
And when you reach level 1150, you can start defeating. Yes, you can start defeating. There goes Smoker. Smoke Admiral. What's the name? Yeah, Smoke Admiral. And don't forget the other bosses. Okay? So now, defeating Horde Warriors is an Ono. Again, it's an Ono. See that, guys? We have Icy Skill. So, guys, focus on the lab subordinate. Our goal here is to reach level 1211. Why? Okay, on the other part of the island, we cannot defeat the Magma Ninja. I guess we, we're gonna, we are gonna uh, like dodge the Lava Pirates. Again, they're the same as the Horned Warriors. So there you go. I'm gonna show you how to do it or defeat it fast. One, two, three here. Okay. Again, with the effect of the Lava... I Sorry. The Logia Fruit. It's very easy. Three here. Three on the other side. There you go. And after that, two more. Okay, that's eight to finish one quest. Again, guys, we're gonna stay here until you reach level 1288. And next up, the Cursed Ship. Ooh, this ship really looks cool. There you go. Now we're gonna start defeating the ship deckhands. Here you go. We need like eight, I think. Yeah, four. There you go. You're gonna defeat four here and go to the other side to defeat two more. Actually, there are three here in the other side, but it depends to you. It won't change the fact that you will go back to the other side to finish one whole quest. Okay? Okay, so. Again, be patient, guys. Patience is a virtue. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna defeat one more. And there you go. Guys, at 1342, we can start defeating the ship stewards. Okay? 1342, your Logia effect will take effect. Logia fruit will take effect. They cannot hit you. Okay, so we're gonna level up here until we reach level 1,394 for our next island, guys. <laughs> That's so far, but it's fine, guys. We can do it. Check this out, guys. They're so easy to lure. They're just in one area, right? So again, guys, goal is level 1,394. If you want to level up more, then go for it, okay? That's just the level that you should go to the ice castle, and that is our second to the last island. So let's head there. See this, guys? I've already reached 1,398, but no worries. There you go. Arctic Warrior is the first quest to do. We are not gonna do this as Snow Lurkers because they have Haki. So again, guys, it's very easy. Again, your Logia effect is in effect. They cannot hit you. There you go. Just farm them, farm them, farm them. There you go. It's very easy. Again, it's very easy. Do this until you reach level 1,400. What? Just level 1,400 and we're gonna stop this now. When you reach that level, guys, you can now start defeating second to the last boss again. And the second C, the Ice Admiral. Uh, not including the raid bosses, okay? And also, we skip Flamingo, right? The Swan. Well, here we go. 1,400, there you go. He is located here in his very own castle. Awakened Ice Admiral. So, hmm. so if ever the Ice Fruit will be awakened, the skills will look like this. And it really is cool. Ice Age, something like that. So for most of you, you will say it's very hard. Yes, it's kind of hard if you don't know the technique. So the technique here is, you just need to lure him upstairs. Okay. And after that, just jump. And he won't be able to damage you. Okay. Okay, so that's it, and you need to level up until you reach level 1,426 to be able to start your quests in the final island, the Forgotten Island. But guys, I really didn't train in that island, to be honest. I finished, I maxed level in this island, okay? Yes, in the Arctic Warriors only. Again, we skip the Snow Lurkers, we're just gonna defeat this, Awakened Ice Admiral, and oh, we got the Library Key. Again, Ice Admiral, Awakened Ice Admiral, and this, the Arctic Warriors, until we reach max level. But I'm gonna show you. Here you go, Forgotten Island. There you go. Guys, you can unlock your uh, observe, uh, no, your Logia effect here when you reach level 1475, uh, 73. I think that's so far. It's very hard to level up here. So again, finish max level in, your, uh, in the Arctic Warriors. There you go. And that's it, guys. And to end this video, when I reach max level, yeah, let's fast forward this again. It's very hard. I'm just showing you. This is like a uh, fast forwarded uh, times four, I guess. And 
still took me like 17 seconds to finish this. And that's times for speed. <laughs> okay, so now guys, when we reach one uh, max level in Arctic Warrior, we're gonna try and defeat the Tidekeeper. Is it hard? No, but it will really take time to defeat it. Okay, just dodge, dodge, dodge. Skill, 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 and there you go. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. By the way, I got a dragon fruit. Remember my one, another account, the one that I finished leveling up from one to seven hundred in the in first C, guys. Now it has a dragon fruit. So comment it in the comment section if you want me to max level it to dragon fruit level seven hundred to one thousand five hundred. Comment it in the comment section. So again, that's it, guys. Questions such as how long did you finish this, guys? It took me three days. <laughs> I keep on like uh, taking rest breaks in between. Okay, so that's it. Again, next video, King Legacy, Flame Fruit. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. Again, this is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.